Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, or I go by Always More Sims here on YouTube, and today we are going to be looking at the two new kits that The Sims 4 released earlier today. Um, I do apologize, these videos are more than likely going to be going up late. Uh, I have not been home until now, and it is currently 7 o'clock, so I apologize. <laughs> Again, if these are that these are going to be going up pretty late today. But anyways, so there were two kits. There was this Moonlight Chic kit, and then ah, I forget what the other one's called. I'm not going to lie. Little Campers kit, there you go. So, I guess we'll go down here. Uh, dress for a night to remember with the Sims 4 Moonlight Chic kit, inspired by Parisian creator Paola Lacatelli. Possibly swoon over the color, flow, and modern style of a collection that'll help your sim look great for dates and maybe break some hearts. Modern Parisian style, pair of shorts with sneakers for casual fun or dress up your look with some silk or sparkles. The youthful fashion of today draws inspiration from classic styles to build something new and trendy. Timeless romance, a slinky dress, flowing shirts, and smart jackets are staples that are always in style. Help your sim find that romantic spark with fashions built to last, even if the romance doesn't. So, looks like we have, what's, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, so 24, 26, 28, 30, 30, 33. I might have counted wrong. I don't know. It's been a long day. <laughs> uh, right? 2, 4... What? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. Okay, I'm thinking that's right. Maybe not. Um, so anyways, it's another cast kit. Oh boy. <laughs> um, just from like first glance, I'm seeing that there's like some items that I think are quite cute. And then there's other items that I'm like, I will never use that. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know. Like this... I'm not a fan of this, and I'm not really a fan of this disco looking, yep, the, the tech, like the pattern of this, not a fan, but I don't know, we'll have to see, I might like it more when we get in game, so, oh it's not, oh, okay, <laughs> just don't do anything, it's, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know, I don't like the look of the necklaces, I think they look really chunky, I'm not a fan of chunky necklaces, I don't know, well, again, we'll just have to see, so there's this one, Oh no! And then there's this one. This is the one I'm actually a lot more excited for. So the Little Campers Kit. Um, stay up past your bedtime with cozy, crafty backyard camping gear from the Sims 4 Little Campers Kit. Play outside in the safety of a DIY blanket fort. This collection has everything you need for a night of creative family fun. For the kids, let the kids take over the backyard with cute furniture, playful camping gear, and toys. Create childhood memories roasting marshmallows with your stuffed Sasquatch pal in the glow of a million string lights. A crafty look. That's not a cardboard box, it's a car or a rocket ship. Embrace DIY aesthetics with toys, blanket forts, and an, even an outdoor projector made out of a bed sheet and other household items. So, there's 25 items in this one. I love the little s'mores kit. I am obsessed with anything like s'mores flavored. So I will say, looking at this, I'm not really seeing like I don't know like I think these like bohemian looking um swings are really fun and like the projector like the little tent um but I don't know yeah it looks really cute <laughs> I feel like it could have used a lot more items a lot of this looks like just like the little decoration pieces um but I don't know we are going to have to see so let's go ahead and swap over to the game so again, I'm pretty sure this is just the same stuff I just read. Um, where's the other one? <laughs> what? I don't know. Okay, so I just, <laughs> I went to start placing stuff to like be like, this is all the items we got. And then I remembered that only one of them is a build via uh, kit and the other one's a cast kit. Uh, and I just kind of grabbed the random sim. So... We're gonna look, I'm just, I think we're just gonna use this here, um, cause I think this contains pretty much, is that a corgi chair? Oh my god, it's a corgi chair! <gasps> Guys, if you don't know, I have two corgis, absolutely adore them, love these dogs to death, we'll always have one from now on. I love this! Oh my gosh, if I had more white on the forehead, it would look just like my Chloe! <gasps> oh my god love it i love it okay <laughs> anyways 
Um, so, like, these are the, really the items that look to come in the kit. Um, it, I mean, it looks like... Just kind of going off of what I see here. Are these... Oh, they're really that little. Okay. I thought those were bigger strands of fairy lights, but okay. So, there's this camper's cot. Um, I think the... I don't know if the tent is actually... Um, something other than, like, you literally just place a tent. I don't know how much Sims can actually, they can just view it, apparently. Is this an actual radio? It is. Okay. So, we've got a Sasquatch here, um, kind of like Blarfy. The projector works like an, it actually works like a TV. Come here. Wow. That's fun. That's fun. Okay. Um, they can't actually do anything with that. So this just looks like a fire pit. Um, I think this may be the, like, cardboard box that the kids can, like, pretend with. I don't know. It's really cute. Again, I feel that I still say that these packs are way overpriced. Um, so I feel like there's not enough stuff here to warrant the five dollars but it is a really cute kit i think if they had maybe done like a maybe i don't know had closer to at least like 30 items i'd be a lot happier well i'd still think we're paying too much for it but if there were more i would be like happier um so i think that's a really cute kit i think there's a lot more they could have done with it so now we're going to filter by just kits Okay, it's this one. So, for masculine framed sims, you have four shirts. have this one. I think this is cute, but at the same time, I don't... I would prefer if, like, both sides were just kind of tucked in. Um, I don't know necessarily that I would use something that looks... I'm gonna say sloppy. I'm just... I don't know if, like, it's the style now to leave your, like, part of your shirt untucked. I don't know. That's... I don't know. Um, I, my dad almost always has his shirt tucked in, no matter what he's wearing. <laughs> so, like, to me, just to see his shirt untucked is, like, uh, like, when part of it's tucked in and the other part's not. I guess we should look at some of the other swatches. Oh, I like that purple, and I love this color pink. That is a very pretty color. The yellow and the orange are a bit too vibrant for my taste. Um, but I like the color swatches. So then there's this. There's an ombre. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like the colors. Oh, I like the colors. I'm not really super, I don't like the floral as much. And I'm not really sure on the actual, like, style of the shirt. But I like those colors. Okay, and then this gives me almost, like, NASCAR jacket vibes. I don't really know how this kind of fits with the other stuff. I don't know. Um, I could see myself using it, though. And then there's this. This is actually probably the thing I could see myself using the most out of these four items. Um, I don't mind this. I feel like the sleeves look a little, little like a little wonky. Um, I don't hate it. I'd probably use it here and there, but again, like the sleeves, not a fan. Okay, so then filter in the pants, the bottoms. Okay, so there's five bottoms. There's these. I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> We got some more shorts. These are really long shorts. Um, but I don't mind them. They almost look kind of cargo pants-ish. I think they're supposed to be cargo pants. Maybe not. I don't know much about fashion. I wear jeans and like t-shirts almost every day. So I wouldn't really know. Um, I think these pants are supposed to be silk. I'm not super sure on the texture of them. I'm not the biggest fan, but I don't hate them. I don't know. I think these are also more cargo pants-ish. They're just so flared at the bottom. Is this supposed to go together? I don't know. Um, any outfits? I do not believe so. Okay. Um, I keep grabbing his arms. And then there's, so I think this is the only set of shoes. There are these sneakers. I actually quite like these sneakers. Um, I use, um, there's some sneakers from one of the other kits. I actually use quite a bit. These, I forget which kit this is, but I use these sneakers all the time. I really like them. 
Um, I've actually, they're some of my favorite sneakers in the game. And they kind of remind me of these. I don't know. I don't mind them. Okay. Is there any... I think there's just the necklace for accessories. Um, oh. I had the impression that one of them was for men. Or for masculine frames. And I don't think there's a hat. I want to say that's it for masculine sims. So I'm going to go over and switch over to a feminine sim. Okay. Oh, there's a lot more for them. For a feminine sim. Okay. So there's this. This is definitely giving me the vibes of like one of the Tartosa, like one of the wedding story bodysuits. Um, giving me that kind of vibe from this. I like the colors. I could see myself using it here and there. Probably not a lot because it's very low cut, but I like it. This, I'm not, I do, I am getting huggy wuggy vibes. Okay, <laughs> I <laughs> just actually finished recording chapter one of Poppy Playtime for my gaming channel. And the fur, I do not like this. I do not like that texture at all. Not a fan. And again, very <laughs> much huggy wuggy <laughs> vibes. Okay. Um, I don't hate this. I feel like it's. And maybe just, no, okay, I was gonna say, maybe it's just because she's, like, there's such a slim waist. Um, but, like, I feel like that is, uh, floats quite far off of their, their frame. Um, there's this. I don't hate it. Um, I don't know, I mean, actually, I quite like the look of it. I just don't know how much I'd really use something like that. Um... Okay, this is giving me, this t-shirt right here is giving me, like, early 2000s vibes. Like, something you'd see Hillary Tuff wear. Um, okay, then we have a feminine version of this shirt. Yeah. Again, not feeling the floral. I do like it a little more on the feminine frame. I'm going to be completely honest here. Um, I'm just, I'm still just not a big fan of the style of the shirt. I don't know. Um, I don't hate this. I feel like they look very wide for have again, like, very slim waist, and it almost looks like the jacket comes, like, out. Um, yeah, I'm not a, f not a, f I don't like the texture of this. I'm not a fan of the texture, though I will say I like it more than this. So, and then there's, this is a lot, though I like this color. I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't, I, I like the dark the darker colors, I feel, aren't as bad as the bright colors. I don't know. This is a lot more miss than hit with me, but I feel like that's how a lot of these kits go. Because again, I'm just, I am not a fashionably knowledgeable person. I don't know much about fashion. Again, I wear, I wear t-shirts and skinny jeans every day, and apparently skinny jeans aren't the fashion. My friend makes fun of me because I wear skinny jeans. Uh while she's walking around wearing like looser fit jeans but see like I used to wear loose fit jeans and she's like those are mom jeans and now she wears them and I'm like uh, but I thought those were mom jeans and those weren't cool to wear so that's why I started wearing the skinny jeans <laughs> like it's just I don't know I feel I'm always out of style I I don't even bother keeping with the trends one because I don't feel confident enough to wear I would never wear I don't have the confidence to pull off anything that is so cropped um, I would hardly have, yeah, this is still, like, for me, I feel like that's still too short. Um, I don't have the confidence to wear something like that. I don't wear, like, sh like, the more, like, I don't really wear short shorts, um, because I know that those are kind of, like, the style. I don't like high-waisted things. Like, I'm just, I'm very, I don't get it. I don't understand most of these styles. I do not understand, and I feel like that just, when these kits come out, I'm at a loss because I don't like most of the stuff in it because it's a lot of stuff that's trending at the moment and it's just not things that I don't, I've gotten to the point I kind of reject things that trend with the passion just because I don't normally end up liking them. But anyways, so there are these pants. I think again, these are supposed to be silk. I don't like the texture. They're so shiny. Cargo pants. We've got some short. Uh, I don't like that the belt is the same color. Okay, we've got, I don't like these. These look like something you'd put on, like, ooh, I do not like these. 
Why is it just that one that has like the checker? That's not checkered. The pound sign all over it. The hashtag. It's almost kind of looks cross stitch. I don't know. Uh, but why is it just that one color? But these look like something you know your grandma made for you to put on your Barbies in like the late nineties. I don't know. <laughs> And then there's this, and I thought that this was, like, the same texture. I don't like that these aren't the same texture. Like, why is this, like, scalloped? Is that what you would call it? And this is, like, disco ball. Like, why are those two different things? You could have had those match. Why do they not? Okay. And then more freckle pants. And then there was one dress, so there's this. I like, I actually quite like this. I'm not the biggest fan of, like, how it lays at the top, but I do know that this is quite popular um, at the moment. I like the back. I think the back is pretty. I kind of wish it was longer, um, like floor length, but I like the ombre colors. Those are pretty. I could see myself using this dress. Um, and then I'm pretty sure there's just the same, uh, sneakers. Um, yep. Okay. And then there was earrings. These look a lot like, um, okay. So then there's there's just the one that I could have sworn. Hold on. I'm going back to the origin page. Um, it'll load. Okay, so there's two necklaces here, but there was not a necklace that, unless I missed it? Did I miss it when it popped up for the masculine sim? See, I'm not a fan of it. I don't like that there's pearls only on the one side. I am very much a symmetrical person, and I'm not the biggest fan that this is asymmetrical. Kind of bugs me. Uh, don't think there's... Yeah, no, okay. Hold on, we're switching. I just, I feel like, did I miss the necklace? No, there is no necklace here. But, <laughs> Origin says there is. Sims team? Got some explaining to do? Oh my gosh, I... I'm... No. Okay. I feel like I am so harsh with the kit reviews because like I do a kit review and I don't watch anyone else's reviews um, until after I've already given mine because I don't want it to be one of those things that I just basically end up copying their points because I'm like, oh yeah, that like I can agree with that. Like I'm not trying to copy um, or like steal basically someone else's video. Um, but then when I, I, I'll watch them afterwards and I'm like, wow, they like, they're so so nice about it and I just feel like I go so hard on the kits but the thing is like I'm just I'm never impressed I feel like I always end up spending money on kits I don't use um honestly I think the one I use the most is this one whatever this one is. I don't remember what any of them are called because there's so many of them and I don't like most of them uh yeah. Yeah. I use this one the most. Uh, whatever the Boots <laughs> logo goes to. I just, I don't use these. Um, and again, like I explained, I am, I feel like I keep saying, and again, and again, which is something my mom does and drives me nuts when she does it. I am not a fashionable person. I don't understand a lot of things that trend. I don't understand why they're trending. I don't understand what makes everybody love them. So I don't know why, why are mullets coming back? What am I missing there? <laughs> what is with the mullet making a return? Um, like it's just, I don't understand fashion trends. I don't get it. Um, and these kits come out and I know that they're supposed to be very much for like, just for like, like it's not supposed to be every kid is supposed to appeal to everybody. But, I don't know, I just, I download so many of these, and I just don't end up using most of the content, because it's just not my thing. I probably, I, most of the stuff I have never used <laughs> since purchasing. I have never used any of the Carnival things. I have never used any of these, either of these. Um, I've only used these because they were, um styled looks and I was just throwing them on my sims um I might I think I used this sweater maybe once I think I used these sweaters maybe once um never used these I don't think I've ever I haven't used this either of those none of those like I just 
No, I think I might have used this one. I used at least two. It might have been those two and not this one. Um, I just, I don't use, this is, this. it's not the, I put clothes, to, well, at least on my male sims, I put my male sims in like the same thing. Uh, I awful at styling male sims. Um, however, like, with like female sims, I tend to like go out of my comfort zone a little more and like I try to make them look cute. But the thing is like, I know I see other people when they make their sims, I'm like, oh my gosh, their sims are so cute. But then they're like, oh my gosh, I love this item. And I'm like, I would never put that item on my sim because I don't like that item uh, typically. So it's just, I don't know. I, I'm pretty disappointed with the items in this kit. They're just not really things I use. Um, I like the sneakers. I like some of the cargo pants. Um, I don't mind, you know, the jacket, like a couple of the tops here and there. I like the dress. Um, I felt like there were not enough, there were like not nearly enough items in the little campers kit for what we're paying. Uh, that's actually, okay, so there was what, 25 items in the little camper. So let's go to the decor to the max kit. There was even less in that one. Well, yeah, probably <laughs> makes sense. The Sims love to skimp us out on, uh, out of content. Um, 24 here. So I guess, um, this one actually had more than what we normally get. Oh, it's taking so long. Um, but see, look, so we got 26 items here. Like, I just, I feel like we don't get enough for how much we pay. Oh, I'm just, I don't know. It's been, a lot of this is coming from the fact that it has not been a good day. It has been a very long, very frustrating day. Like, so I'm not in the greatest mood and I know that that's kind of carrying over and I, I apologize for that. But I'm just, I'm not impressed. I feel like I never walk away from these kits impressed. The little camper's kit, it's cute. They could have given us given us so much more than they did to make it closer to being worth the price that it was. Um, the kit doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> I literally buy these things just so I can try and keep up with having all of the content, basically. So I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stop complaining and talking in circles. I wasn't impressed. The items in the little campers. It's cute. I don't really know how much I'll use them because I don't really have my sims do a lot of stuff outside, but it's cute stuff. Um, I don't know. Choose what you want. You, you get what you think is fits to your style, fits to your games, your game pay, gameplay, because this doesn't fit my gameplay. Um, I don't know. That that's really about it. Uh, I'm sorry. This was a crap review. This was a bad video. I am in a foul mood. It's not been a good day. So, um, and I'm sorry that this is going up so late. But uh, I guess that's really about everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I have my gaming channel um, linked down in the description below. We are finishing Arkham. Actually, the last part of Arkham City. It's technically posted Tuesday, but we've been playing the DLC, Harley Quinn's Revenge, that went up today. And then, starting next week, I have chapters 1 and 2 of Poppy Playtime going up, and then after that, we've got some other games we're going to start playing, so a bunch of fun stuff going on over there. I also have my Twitter linked down in the description, along with a poll. I'm getting really close to finishing my One Man 100 Kids Challenge, and you guys get to choose what I play next after that. So if you could vote in the poll, I'd really appreciate it. Um... I think that's everything though, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in my new video. Or my next video. Bye guys.